Hi friends! Today I'm gonna be making Japanese steamed cake mushipan. Mushipan is a nostalgic treat for me. One of my aunt is very good at it and I asked her what's the secret and she said it's soy sauce. I had no idea the soy sauce makes the mushipan so special. It looks like muffins but it contains much less sugar and fat. It's perfect for your kids after school snack and your coffee break. Let's get started. Scrub your sweet potato well and cut into dice. Soak in water to remove any excess starch. I'm using sweet potato from Kagoshima Prefecture. It is called Anno Imo, a special kind of sweet potato that is exceptionally good. But you can use any sweet potato you can find. By removing the excess starch, your sweet potato keeps its shape and cook well. Drain and transfer to a small pot. Add a little bit of sugar and pour water to cover and cook on medium-low heat until almost all the liquid is evaporated. If you are using a sweet potato that has a lot of moisture in it, add less water. When you cook sweet potato for toppings, you should cook with a little bit of sugar of a relatively high heat to keep its shape and cook quickly. It looks good, cover and leave it until the cake batter is prepared. Shift your sugar if there are any lumps. Crack one egg into the bowl and whisk together until mix well. Mix until the sugar dissolves, then add your milk. If you are using a smaller egg than mine, add a little bit more milk. Add vegetable oil and continue mixing. Mix until the ingredients are well combined. Shift together the all-purpose flour and baking powder and mix until you have a smooth batter. Last but not least, add soy sauce. I add about half a teaspoon. What this does is add a little bit of saltiness and umami to the butter to enhance the sweetness. You can always add salt instead. Mix until evenly incorporated. For the cake mold, set parchment paper cup into ramekins. You can use standalone cupcake paper cup if you have one. Divide the butter into 5, spoon it into each cup. The cake butter should fill up to 60% of the mold. Top with sweet potato we cooked earlier to cover the surface. Sprinkle black sesame seed, these are complement each other and steam them for 15 minutes. I am using a bamboo steamer. It is very useful to make steamed dish like this. You can steam vegetables or fish or dim sum like pork bands. Good to have one in your kitchen. Bring water to a boil 2 inches up from the bottom. Press the bamboo steamer and cook for 15 minutes over medium high heat. After 15 minutes, it looks like this. They expand twice as much and look so cute. Be careful when you open the lid. Open the lid the other side of you to avoid facing the steam. The steam is very hot. You will burn your face, so please be careful with the steam. Take out the mold with your hand wearing the glove and be careful not to burn yourself. Take out onto the wire rack and release the steam and let it cool to room temperature. I made it with sweet potato today, but you can use kabocha squash or uh, azuki beans. 
It's very humble and healthy treat for us Japanese people. Nothing special, but I like the simple taste. And it really goes well with milk. It's childish, maybe, but I can't stop pair with milk with my treat. I hope you'll like it too. Give it a try and let me know how you like it. Thank you for watching the video. Give me a big thumbs up and share the video with your friends and families. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Follow me on the social media and tag me on your post if you give it a try. And go to my website for the printable recipe and more information. And my store on Amazon has pretty much everything that I'm using in my video. Stay safe and stay healthy, and I will see you soon. Bye!